G'day hunters! Have you ever thought about hunting new animals in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Well, how about hunting extinct animals? Look, I know what you're thinking, that just doesn't sound right. You are definitely right, but let's take a step back and remember that these animals are nothing but virtual and nothing but pixels. Before we get into the video, I wanted to thank you all for your constant support. Like goals are being smashed left, right and center. Let's see if we can do it again with a goal of 80 likes for this video. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you'll ever know, and the road to 20k thus far has been super, super exciting. Anyway, let's get straight into the video and see what extinct animals we could possibly hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild. First animal on this list is the Thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian Tiger. This animal went extinct in 1936 because of hunting, and there was actually a bounty on these animals which made hunting even more desirable, and people actually got money for hunting these animals when they handed in their pelts. Kind of interesting, it definitely drove the population all the way down and obviously has left them extinct. I know the last one died in captivity in 1936, and many people believe it's still alive with evidence like these photos, but it does beg the question, why does every single thylacine hunter or any sort of photo about extinct animals or the Yeti or anything like that have to be taken with a literal potato? I don't know, man. I've got a phone camera that can zoom in over 400 meters and we're out here looking at a blur. It just doesn't make sense. But no, the thylacine would be really awesome to hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I put it at a class three animal. I'm wondering if you agree with that. It would be really cool to see the thylacine added to maybe a future Australian map. I don't know. I'm always hoping for that. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the Dodo. The dodo went extinct in 1662, so a very long time ago, and it's a flightless bird, kind of like a chicken. I think most people know what it looks like, but I have to say that I have to wonder what Kentucky Fried Dodo would taste like. That is something that I'll definitely be lighting up and getting a whole bucket of dodo of. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> would you guys be heading to KFD? That was horrible. Anyway, dodo, I'd say is a class one, maybe a class two animal. But yeah, would you hunt a dodo if it was added into the game? I don't know where they would add the dodo into, but I'm sure we'll definitely find something. The next one up is an animal that we've kind of got a few of already, but it is a different subspecies and that is the Perinian Ibex. This animal went extinct in the year 2000 due to the hunting pressure. So again, you know, people just weren't being considerate about the animals they took and obviously taking out enough of them drove it to extinction. Now the last one, they actually named Cecilia and it was found in the wild and it was killed by a fallen tree. That's a very horrible, horrible way for a species to go extinct but I thought I should let you know about that. This species was actually briefly brought back to life as it was cloned back in 2003, but it died shortly after birth due to a lung defect. So for a moment there, the Pyrenean Ibex was back in the real world, but unfortunately not for long, and there hasn't been any tests since. I would put this animal at class five. Pyrenean Ibex would be really, really cool to see, and I guess they could just throw it into Quattrocolinus again, but that's not exactly where they were. So I don't know what they would do, but Pretty and Ibex would be really, really cool. The next animal is the Passenger Pigeon. Now, this animal would be class one. It went extinct in 1914. So, fun fact, that was, what, two years after the Titanic sank? No relevance, but I thought, you know, I should throw that out there. And it died due to overhunting. Now, these birds, there were so many. I've heard stories that as a flock of Passenger Pigeons flew over your town or over your house, there would be that many of them that it would literally block out light. There must have been over billions and billions and billions of this animal, but even though these birds were really, really fast, it sounds like they weren't that much faster than a shotgun shell. So unfortunately, due to all of that hunting, the passenger pigeon was driven to extinction. And yeah, I think it'd be a really good animal, much like the ducks in the game and the waterfowl. You could add that into the Hunter Call of the Wild and we'd have a chance to take out an extinct bird and maybe pop it in our own trophy lodge. The more and more I go on about these, the <laughs> more unethical it sounds and I just I don't know I don't know if this making this video was a good idea but you know we're halfway through it now so we're going to keep moving forward another animal that recently went extinct 2011 was the West African black rhino now we have no rhinos in the game and I understand why that poaching is still a really really big issue but the West African black rhino is a gorgeous gorgeous animal obviously it would have to be a class nine yeah extinct in 2011 due to poaching and honestly I have no idea why this still happens I've never heard of a single person actually wanting ivory in their home. I actually found out that ivory is made out of the same material as our teeth, and keeping someone else's teeth in your home is uh, its all kinds of messed up. But what isn't messed up, I think would be hunting these rhinos in the Hunter Call the Wild. I don't know, I would love to see it. Just drop them in the Hunger Savannah, or let's make Africa 2.0. I'm definitely down for that. And I'm sure it would be a very, very interesting animal to hunt, a very unique animal to hunt as well. And I'd really like to hunt this animal. Moving on, the Sicilian wolf. This is a really, really interesting animal. 
It is one of the larger canids that you could actually find in the world, which is awesome. The bigger, the better. That's what I always say. And that is no different when it comes to my animals in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't really hunt ducks. I don't really hunt rabbits, but I love hunting moose. I love hunting lions. I love hunting buffalo and so on. I find the larger animals much more exciting. And the Sicilian wolf, if you could add in the largest canid in the world into your game, that's really, really awesome. Unfortunately though, this animal did go extinct in 1924. It was actually a superstition within the Sicilian islands of Italy that wearing the head of a wolf will grant you courage. Other areas would have their kids wearing wolfskin shoes to help them grow into strong and combative adults. Now, I don't know about you, but when I have a kid, I'm definitely not wrapping them up in wolfskin. I think, you know, you just can't go wrong with like cotton, wool, and you know, the normal types of fabric. But yeah, the Sicilian wolf, I'd have to say it's probably a class five species. Would love to see it added into, you could probably add it into a reserve like Quachicolinas, to be honest, because it's not too different you know, Spain, Italy, they're not too far away from each other. But yeah, the Sicilian wolf would be really, really cool to hunt. Next up is a really, really, really cool animal and went extinct in 2003. This is the Caspian tiger, a very, very large tiger. They were found throughout the Middle East and there is a little bit of hope for maybe the areas that the Caspian tiger was because there is a possibility for Siberian tigers, which aren't too different from Caspian tigers, to be introduced into former Caspian tiger habitat, much like what happened in Yellowstone with wolves. If you're familiar with that, they reintroduced wolves into Yellowstone National Park, and you wouldn't believe it, but everything from the elk numbers went down, obviously because of hunting, but it brought back animals like beavers into the area and so much more wildlife, flora as well, only because the apex predator of the area, which is a core, core component of every ecosystem, was brought back into Yellowstone National Park. So hopefully we'll see the same thing with the Caspian Tiger. I have placed it as a class nine animal. I think that's definitely where it should be. It's a massive, massive animal and it just makes sense. What do you reckon? Up next, we have the Bubal Hata Beast, or is it Bubali Hati Beast? I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, to be honest, but I'm going to say Bubal Hata Beast. It is an animal that went extinct in 1925. So we're coming up close to that hundred years since it was last found out in the wild. And funnily enough, its biggest predator was the Barbary lion. Now, if you're unfamiliar, the Barbary lion was a gorgeous lion that used to live in the Atlas Mountains, but was driven to extinction as well. Now, the Barbary lion isn't on this list, but if you want me to go over it in another video, I'm happy to get a whole bunch of other extinct animals that I'd like to see in the game and talk about that. But we're here talking about the bubble heart beast, and I would have to say it'd be a class five animal. You could definitely add it in the Bahunga Savannah as well, or another African map, I'm gonna say it again, but definitely, definitely would like to hunt a Bubal hard beast within the Hunter Call of the Wild. Pretty cool antlers, very interesting looking species, and something I'd really like to see up in my trophy lodge. Every time I say trophy lodge and talking about extinct animals, it just feels wrong. I don't know why, but it just feels wrong. Let's talk about hunting another extinct animal. This animal is the Paradise Parrot. Look at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a very beautiful bird. It would have to be a class one because it was quite small, and this species went extinct in 1927. Now we blame introduced species for this, but I'm sure there's people who are hunting them as well, as there always is. This paradise parrot is quite interesting because it liked to spend its time on the ground rather than up in a tree or in flight. And this is really evident within their nests because they would actually hollow out termite mounds for their nests. Really interesting. I don't think I've heard of any other birds do this, but the paradise parrot would be a very, very cool animal to have within the Hunter Call of the Wild. Look, it's been extinct for over a hundred years, or almost over a hundred years. I don't see why we can't have it. The next animal on the list is the desert rat kangaroo. Very interesting name. It is very small, therefore being a class one. This animal went extinct in 1935, which if you have a look at the thylacine, not too long before that animal, only one year, that one being 1936. And although that happened all the way back in 1935, there was a possible sighting of the desert rat kangaroo back in May of 2011, when they found an old nest that was found with scat and tracks. Now, unfortunately, no actual DNA was pulled from this, but it does remain a possibility, and plenty of scientists have said that although they're still claiming that it went extinct in 1935, there is a possibility that this animal lasted another 80 years into 2011, which kind of begs the question for me, how many of these extinct animals could still be out there today? Any of them on the list that you think about, I would love to see a thylacine out in the wild. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button so we can hit that like all of 80 likes for this video and please consider subscribing as well. We are on the way to 20K. Other than that, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there, hunters.